really coming together, isn't it? Yep. You think it'll be done in time? Well, I figure we still have the interior alcoves and pilasters to do, which is no small task, but yes, I think so. Listen, I have to say I, I really appreciate all the effort that you put into this. Uh, I wish there was some way I could, you know, pay you or something. There is one thing you could do for me. My cellmate. Ah, the inimitable Charles Potoshik. Haywire? Then you know. Hold it right there. Officer Bellick is in charge of cell transfers. You're gonna have to talk to him about that. I tried, but he seems to think we're a good match. Has he threatened you? Who? Haywire or Bellick? Hmm. Unfortunately, unless there's some evidence of violence or sexual predation between cellmates, those kinds of requests fall on deaf ears around here. Prison system's a little too crowded for requests based on personality. It's not exactly sandals out there. Sorry, her wife is here. What? She's not supposed to be here till four o'clock. Becky, do not let her come in here under any circumstances. She's not supposed to see this until her anniversary. I'll be right out. Hi, sweetheart. You're early. Uh, let's go eat. You're acting funny. I am? What's going on in there? Oh, um, just going over some files. Becky said you were in a meeting. This isn't Toledo all over again, is it? Toledo? How can you say that? Then you won't mind if I look. Uh, Judy. Warden. I'm not going to be able to cooperate. I'd get killed if I did. Johnson's still deciding. Well, then you and I are done. You should have just told me. Well, you, you know how anxious I get when you come around the inmates. <sighs> Becky, have a guard escort Johnson back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. Come on, let's go eat. Oh. 